your iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes message, pop up on the screen and enter passcode option also disabled. If you enter the wrong password too many times on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, then you got a message that your device is disabled. You forget your passcode then you have to raise your iPhone that deletes all your data settings and passcode too. If you have a previous backup then you can restore your data. If you don't have backup then you lose all data on your iPhone. If you want to save data from iPhone is disabled to enter passcode mode. See the videos on description or follow the eye icon. You can't restore your iPhone direct on disable mode. So you have to go to special mode to restore your iPhone. There is Two way to fix iPhone is disabled. On is recovery mode. How you can enter into recovery mode? Press volume up, press volume down, then keep holding the power switch till the recovery option shows on the screen. Here you can see two options, update or restore iPhone. If you update your iPhone via this mode, is to update the iOS version only or to repair the corrupt iOS version. All photos, install app and user data in the device will be preserved and passcode also is still remaining. If you restore iPhone by this then it deletes all user data repair iOS version and also restore to factory state. So this is recommended in that cases. The second mode is DFU mode. How you can enter into DFU mode? Connect lightning cable. Press volume up, then volume down. Then keep holding the power switch till restart. Keep holding power switch, press volume down and hold for 4 seconds. Then release power switch. Keep holding volume down till iTunes detector is recovery mode. In this mode, iPhone screen is blank. On which the only on option shows restore iPhone. If you restore iPhone by this then it deletes all user data, repair iOS version and also restore to factory state. This two mode is the mode on which you can restore your iPhone. Let's go for a firmware. If you have already downloaded the firmware and save on your PC, then you can use that firmware to restore by giving the file destination. Press the option key on Mac or Shift key on Windows and give the file location. You can download the firmware directly via iTunes iTunes automatically download the compatible and latest firmware to your device. This may take time to download that depend on your internet speed. After the download process is complete, a restore process starts automatically. You can download the firmware from the side and save it on your PC that can be used later. This site allows you to download any required firmware and also shows that the firmware is signed or not. Follow the instruction to download.
Let's go to restore. I am here putting iPhone on recovery mode. I already download the firmware. So press the option and give the firmware location. And click on restore. Now the restore process is started. First, iTunes on zipping the framework then restart. Now the restore process is restarted and wait for the process to complete. This may take time to be passing.
If that stuff is helpful and you have to get some new idea, then share with friends. Drop your valuable comment below and don't forget to post any query about that video. Feel free to contact us. We always give you information that is accurate. We don't deal with any spam. If you want to update yourself on App for Center content, subscribe to our channel the GSM Solution. Hello, this is Akash from the GSM Solution and peace out till the next time.